Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We're taking a look today at the Ottawa Senators and some of their defensive prospects. Lassie Thompson and Eric Bransham, they have fallen in the draft uh, stock market, I guess you could call it or in the prospect stock market. So, we'll be taking a look at that. So, I want to figure I want to give credit to um the article writer for giving me the idea for this video and now I can't find it. Of course. Uh Of course now I can't find it. But so basically the guy mentioned some prospects that have started to decline. He added guys like Clem Coaston, Alex Alexiev in Washington, uh, like I said, Clem Coaston in St. Louis, uh, obviously Henrik Borgstrom in Chicago. But he mentioned two Ottawa Senators defensemen, Lassie Thompson and Eric Bransham. And I wanted to take a look at them here. So last, so we're going to start off with Lassie Thompson. So Lassie Thompson, I believe, where was he drafted? I think he was a pretty high draft pick uh, for the, the Ottawa Senators. And Lassie Thompson, remember, he went back to SM Liga uh, the last two years, which I think some people are criticizing him going to the SM Liga because it messed with his reaction time. And Coming back to North America with the AHL's Belleville Senators, he seems a little bit off. And Lassie Thompson, I want to figure out where he was drafted. Because I know my Sens fans out there give me a lot of uh, grief for that kind of stuff. First round pick, 19th overall in 2019. There you go, Sens fans. So yes, he is a Senators draft pick, first rounder. And like I said, a lot of expectations were on him being a top four defenseman in the NHL. And like I said, obviously things have changed a little bit now that the Senators have been adding some guys uh, down the line in the draft. It's definitely made guys like Thompson kind of slip throughout the cracks, I guess. And he's not being talked about as much as the guys from this past year's draft and probably this year's draft here in 2021. So Lassie Thompson... They talk a lot in the article about him just kind of falling off from his game f when he came back to North America. And and I think there's been some questions about, you know, him playing enough because he had a lot of injury issues in SM Liga and just not getting enough ice time. And the ice time he did get was just on a bigger rink in the uh, the SM Liga. So there's a lot of factors here for Lassie Thompson. Hopefully he becomes that player again. They had him listed as the 46th best prospect. He has most recently been at 97. So he took a pretty pretty significant step back. And then looking at Eric Brasham, which is probably the most concerning right now out of, you know, between Lassie Thompson and Eric Brasham. Last year, Eric Brasham was listed as the 12th best prospect in the NHL. And in this recent article, he was ranked 61st, so dropping almost 50 spots from where he was uh, on last year's, you know, or on the last prospect report. So the big thing with Eric Brasham is he was the former, you know, like I said, 12th overall prospect. He was a first round pick by the Vegas Golden Knights back in the day. Now, obviously, he was a huge factor in the Mark Stone trade to the Vegas Golden Knights uh, from the Ottawa Senators. So Eric Brasham was a significant piece in that deal. And since he's come over, he's looked a little bit interesting. He's a dynamic puck mover, but this season in particular, there's been a little bit of blame shifting between, you know, what you could say Pierre Dorian's lack of accountability for bringing up maybe a guy like Eric Branstrom too soon, leaving him on the taxi squad, not playing a lot when he could be developing his defensive game in the AHL but he left him on the taxi squad. So there were certain things with that that were just, mm, come on now, Pierre Dorian, you, you got to give him a little bit of headspace because you didn't give him enough ice time. Now, the good news is once the trade deadline came, they traded Mike Riley out of Ottawa, which allowed on the second pair to play with Artem Zub, which is a great name. So right now you have Branstrom and Zub on that second pairing, which seems to be working quite well. He seems to be playing a little bit better uh, in that situation. But, you know, earlier this season, he took a lot of flack for maybe not being in the best condition. You know, his conditioning may have been a little bit off. And uh, obviously his defensive, uh, uh, what's the word? Defensive lapses, I guess you could say, uh, where he just wasn't completely on point. So, Eric Bresham, still a really solid 
prospect for the Ottawa Senators. And with guys like Jake Sanderson coming in and potentially a guy like Owen Power or Luke Hughes this year, it changes the dynamic for the Ottawa Senators because now a guy like Lassie Thompson almost falls to the wayside, you know, and then you have a guy like Eric Branstrom who was supposed to be that guy, and the next year Jake Sanderson kind of takes that spot as the as the defenseman, you know, and, and it's a weird spot here. Again, Branstrom is one of those guys that I think he will develop. He's still 20 or 21 years old, so he's still very young. Uh, but this is a guy now that the Ottawa Senators, they're giving their investment, they're giving their time into him, but the way Pierre Dorian has handled him as well is a little bit odd. He probably should have played more in the AHL at the beginning of 2021 once the AHL season started back up, uh, but they decided to leave him on the taxi squad, which limited his ice time to grow in North America. So... For Eric Branstrom, like I said, he looks like a solid prospect. Lassie Thompson could still crack the Ottawa Senators lineup, but as we start to see these prospects come into training camp next fall, because remember, the last two or three years now, the Ottawa Senators have accumulated lots of draft picks, specifically first and seconds, and they're also going to have this year's draft class here in 2021, and they have a plethora of draft capital over the last couple years, and we'll start to see in training camp in the fall, just what they think of this team and where these guys fit. And maybe we'll see guys like Ridley Grieg. And maybe we'll see, yes, Josh Norris is on the Ottawa Senators. Guys, I I completely forgot about him. I do apologize. I made a projecting the Ottawa Senators roster video a couple weeks back. And about a dozen of you mentioned that I forgot Josh Norris on the top line. And uh, shaking my head on that one. I do. I do. Uh, I definitely messed up on that one, but I made sure I was good for my Senators fans in this video. Uh, a lot of good information. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, I think Lassie Thompson and I think Eric Branstrom will be in the lineup, but Lassie Thompson will be fighting for a spot on the Ottawa Senators next season. And uh, we'll see what happens. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think of Lassie Thompson and Eric Branstrom and their kind of decline uh, over the, the last couple of months uh, since the end of 2000 going into 2021. Uh, but like I said, Eric Brasham, his stock has risen a little bit, but Lassie Thompson is still a little bit lagging behind, and I think a lot of that has to do with his development overseas. But like I said, we'll see what happens in training camp in the fall. That's really the testament for these guys once we see more prospects and guys come in for the Senators for the long-term future. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and let's go Sens.